Jokes Vlog. On Netflix, I watched the recently released Eurovision. The, was it the Story of Fire Saga? Song of Fire Saga? Something like that starring Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams. An odd duo. Rachel McAdams, what have you been doing lately? Besides loosely time travel movies. Anyways, uh, Will Ferrell... We need to start thinking of the Will Ferrell movie the way we think of an Adam Sandler movie. Oh, well, that's an Adam Sandler movie. That's a Will Ferrell movie, right? Because uh, there seems to be a thing to a Will Ferrell movie. There's a contest or, a, or an obscure sport or a sport. And that's a Will Ferrell movie, in a way. If we're going to say a Will Ferrell movie will likely have a sport that will be one of the things. Or a comp competition. So evidently there's a thing called Eurovision. American Idol in Europe, but before American Idol. Across countries. Each country sends their best pop duo act, whatever, to compete. And Will Ferrell is from Iceland and so is Rachel McAdams, their childhood friends. In the initial flashbacks, like 1974, they got ABBA playing. Makes me really want to listen to some ABBA on Spotify. But I did not immediately recognize Pierce Brosnan as uh, Will Ferrell's dad. Was that not him, but heavy makeup, some CGI? I don't know. Uh, now you flash forward some and you're aging Pierce Brosnan up even. Yeah, okay, I recognize him. But, uh, you know, Pierce Brosnan could still bond as far as I'm concerned. Give him a never say never again. Let him be like a, a placeholder gap filling for the next bond, younger bond, okay? Let him do that. Give the man his due. Will Ferrell does his singing in this. And all the songs are bad. They're not my style. It's bad songs. It's very Euro dance, DJing, no real instruments playing at any point. It's not good music. And you can tell it's Will Ferrell singing. It damn sure ain't Rachel McAdams singing. Somehow, because everybody else got killed in an explosion, these two dolts managed to get into the Eurovision contest. There's actually a weird mystery plot to this that you don't even think about because you're just grinding through hearing the same song rehearsed, performed, performed again. The Icelandic commissioner for Iceland's Euro, uh, Eurovision entrance wants to lose because the country can't afford to put on next year's Eurovision contest per the rules. Interesting. Then why is he on the board? You know, shouldn't you get a guy who wants to win? At any rate, it, why is Iceland included? Are, what, what puts Iceland in Europe? Asking for a friend. And I think I walked through a spider's nest. Web, whatever. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot of the same songs. You hear everybody's act. Uh, they do a song along where they stream together a bunch of songs and sing karaoke. It gets annoying. You have this guy, he was... Well, that X-Men TV show spinoff on FX. The guy from that, is his name... I keep thinking, is, is his name Dan Stevens? It sounds like a UFC fighter. He's Russian. He's the favorite. Uh, he, he has offered Rachel McAdams. Will Ferrell seems to be kind of into this. I think she was Greece in Trent. I, I don't know. But nothing really happens between them. You don't really have them as the bad guys. Actually, there's these elves that Rachel McAdams sort of pays homage to. And they grant her wishes. They protect her. Uh, she's always saying the elves did stuff, and there's some payoff to that. An elf stabs the commissioner of the Iceland Eurovision in the back to save Will Ferrell, and he's like, oh, thank you. All right, I'm going to leave the knife here if you have to do more killing to do. <laughs> the best exchanges are when Will Ferrell's alone or riffing on the Americans. He runs across some Americans uh, while he's over there at the Eurovision contest. Is it in Paris, I think? He's giving them instructions, and Fire Song ends up not redoing the song they agreed on. They sing a new song, their style, before K-pop guy remixed it. But they're excluded from the Eurovision because they broke the rules. Why would the rules dictate you have to sing the same song at each stage of the contest? Now, this is a broken shit or what? So I assume that the Russian guy wins, but they win the hearts. Flash forward like a year later, they have a little kid. They're doing their little gig again. Everybody wants they want to hear the, the old songs, and they're kind of cool with that. But he invited the Americans there for some more jokes. It's not all that unfunny, but boy is it cringe 
early and at two hours plus, I believe, it, it's a big ask to get to sit through that much of a certain brand of comedy, especially when it seems to have little going for it up front. Uh, but if you know, if this is your kind of music, I think you're going to enjoy this more than I did. I give Eurovision, Song of Fire, whatever, Game of Thrones, two and a half out of four stars. <sighs> okay. Concluding, I don't have a verses in mind, but I need to wrap up this session jogging and vlogging. I'm uh, hitting end. I ran for 28 minutes, 42 seconds. Total distance 1.79 miles, average pace not good. Active calories 188 calories burn. Total calories 230, that's at least a thousand under because it's 90 degrees out. Uh, I, I'm testing a new microphone. There's probably wind muff in the frame. I'm, I'm gonna probably order something else to go with that because just my whole setup, uh, there, you're gonna end up with the little furry hairs somewhere in the frame in all likelihood. In addition to that, I've got uh, a clicking sound, I cannot determine where it's coming from. It's probably picking up on to you guys, it's probably annoying the shit out of you. Apologies, we're multiplying that number by nine as I have 9,000 subscribers. And uh, cause each mile ran will place by a number of thousands of subscribers. Charitable contribution, if I could find a charity that's not a scam. And I uh, give you the running total up here. Adios. I know I'm a male and I can't entice you to sign up for my Patreon with some skimpy cosplay photo shoot. So instead, how about bookmarking my Amazon influencer affiliate link? That way, whenever you shop Amazon, it tosses a coin to your Witcher. A uh, popular Netflix reference makes me cool, right? No? Okay.